You need to use an excellent oil emulsifier to disperse essential oils in your bath to avoid any sort of skin irritation. Hi, my name is Karina and this is Zen Flamingo. Today I'll be covering some important guidelines on using essential oils safely in the bath. Stay tuned till the end of this video and we will be doing uh, demonstrations to actually show you how to use essential oils safely in the bath water. Since water and oil do not mix, when you put essential oils in your bath water directly, they will sit on the top of your bath water. When you get into the tub, the oils will come into direct contact with your skin and it could cause irritation. Once your foot is in the tub, if there's oil in it, it's underwater then and the oil can't even evaporate off. Because of the temperature of the water, which will heat up the oil that you use, your skin will even be more vulnerable to irritation. Oil needs to either be dispersed, or another word is emulsified before you step into the tub, or it needs to be diluted before you put it into your bathtub. In some cases, oils that do not usually cause irritation to the skin when put into a hot bath directly will cause skin irritation, so be careful. The following are not good dispersers of essential oils or emulsifiers of essential oils. Full fat milk, aloe vera gel, witch hazel, alcohol, baking soda, cornstarch, regular table salt, glycerin, just to mention a few. And I will be showing you demonstration of some of these at the end of the video. The fat in full fat milk is only it only makes up about three to four percent. The rest of it is not, so it's not a good emulsifier. Besides, milk is emulsified on its own and it doesn't have room to take up anything else. You need to use an excellent oil emulsifier to disperse essential oils in your bath to avoid any sort of skin irritation. If dispensing the essential oil with an emulsifier is not what you want to do, the essential oil can be safely diluted in a carrier oil before using it in your bathtub. Since using a carrier oil to dilute the essential oil is not emulsifying it but only diluting it, you will still have the oil layer on the top of the bath water, but don't be afraid if you've diluted it sufficiently. Um, but once you drain the water out of your tub, the oil will sit at the bottom of your tub or around the sides, which can make it very dangerous for you. Uh, it, it is a slip uh, hazard, so please be careful not to slip and fall. You can use carrier oils such as, for example, fractionated coconut oil, and that's the liquid version of coconut oil. In 15 mils of carrier oil, which is one tablespoon, you can put six drops of essential oil, mix it well, and then put it into your bathtub. If your water is still running, then put it directly under the running water and it will spread it all over. Some may actually want to use other things to put into their baths, such as Epsom salts or baking soda, along with the essential oil too. This can definitely be done do not add the essential oil directly to the Epsom salt or the, or the baking soda because they do not dilute nor do they emulsify the essential oils. That needs to be done first. So for example, you can create a dilution with a carrier oil and your essential oil, then mix it into the Epsom salt or your baking soda and add it to your bathtub. Probably the best thing to use in your bath if you're wanting to use essential oil would be a fragrance-free liquid soap or a fragrance-free shampoo or a fragrance-free bubble bath. Use that same concentration guide as mentioned before with the carrier oil dilution. So for example, uh, one tablespoon of the liquid uh, soap to five or six drops of your essential oils, mix it well, and then put it into your tub. If you put it under your uh, tap when it's running, it'll foam up your whole bath and you've got the added benefits of the bubbles. Enjoy a relaxing, luxurious, and safe soak in your bathtub with your favorite essential oils. Now stay tuned for the demonstrations. So here we have water, and you can pretend that that's your bathtub. 
For demonstration purposes, I'm going to use regular um, olive oil because it's got a nice yellow color to it. And it's going, we're going to pretend that that's your essential oil, but you'll be able to see it in the water for this demonstration a lot better. So here's your bathtub, okay, ready to go. And you're putting in your oil in the bathtub. The oil and water definitely don't mix. And let's pretend that my two fingers are like your legs and feet. And you walk into your tub and you walk in there. Look what happens. When you come out of the tub, this is oil. Okay, this is all oil. So essentially, the undiluted essential oil that comes from the bottle of the essential oil that's highly concentrated is now on your skin. Do you see how shiny it is? Okay, and if I put it on the paper, that's an oil blot right there, and it's not going to dry up. So that is why it's very dangerous to put essential oil directly into the bathtub. Remember, the oil will touch the sides of your bathtub. And then even though you're draining the water down the uh, drain, the, the whole bathtub is going to be very, very slippery. So just be careful because you could slip. So those are two concepts right there. So when you step in and your essential oil sits on the top, undiluted oil is on your skin and it's very strong and it can definitely burn your skin. And I have spoken to people who have experienced that. So now let's see how we can safely put our oils into the bathtubs. Well, the best thing is to use an emulsifier and the best emulsifier would be a soap. Okay, because that is grease cutting. Grease is oil and therefore it will work. So let's say a nice tablespoon of the soap, right? And then you can put five drops of the essential oil, but you have to mix it. And the more you stir, the more you see that the whole concoction takes a golden color, but you cannot see two separate phases in there. It becomes one. And then what you do is you put it into the bathtub. You're going to actually be serving two purposes. One, you have a nice cleansing liquid soap in there. And two, you'll have the essential oil aroma in there to help you with them. It's a nice uh, relaxation. If you take a look at the very top, all we have are bubbles from the soap. The oil that you have used from your essential oil bottle has been dispersed. It has been emulsified by the soap that you've mixed it with or the shampoo. Now you can safely walk into your tub. It's not uh, oily whatsoever and it's safe. And also, when you drain the water out, you're not going to get a sticky um, oil film on the side of your tub. Okay, so that's probably the best way of using essential oil safely in the bathtub. I've also had uh, people indicate that, uh, is it okay to put aloe vera into your bathtub? Can you use aloe vera to um, you know, mix your essential oil in there and also have the benefits perhaps of the moisturizing. It's not very easy to find aloe vera jelly and apparently you could use aloe vera jelly. The one that you find the most is aloe vera gel. Um, so I'm going to show you how, why the gel does not work. So here's your tub. Let's just fill the bathtub with some water. Let's put a little bit of aloe vera gel. And does it mix with water alone? It mixes really well. See the water's become a bit more cloudy. Can you notice that? But it's mixed. There's nothing sitting on top or whatever. Okay. You wanted to see you have the aloe vera gel and you say, okay, so let me use that to dissolve my essential oil in. So here's some more gel in this one. Okay. Put a few drops like you did with the carrier oil into there. Right, five drops or whatever. That's way more than five drops, but nevertheless. So you see it's on the side and the gel is right there. Mix it and oh my goodness, it's really mixing well, isn't it? Yeah, well, so it seems. I don't know if you can start seeing it right now, but already the drops of oil are coming out of the mixture. You can see the drops. So let me mix it all up. Okay, now let's let it sit for a minute just for a bit and see what happens. At this point, I can very, very clearly see a layer of oil at the top. The droplets are small, but they're still there. So the undiluted uh, essential oil 
Okay, this is our pretend essential oil, is not staying mixed with the aloe vera. It's coming up the top. So again, if you go down, there you go, you can feel this, the greasiness. And that would, you know, stick to your body and it could potentially burn your skin. So aloe vera gel is not something that you can use in your bath to mix up the essential oil prior to in putting it into the bath water. Some of the most uh, popular things to add to your bathtub would be uh, sea salt or Himalayan salt as well, uh, baking soda. Uh, here we have Epsom salts and there's a lot of other things that people add to their bathtubs and that's fine. But what if you wanted to add these, any one of these, and your essential oil that here's our pretend essential oil. What would you do? Well, there's two things. We've proven prior to uh, this demo that you can dilute the essential oil with a carrier oil, such as this fractionated coconut oil. So you can dilute it first, then add it to whatever other thing you want to put into your bathtub, or you can emulsify it. Okay. So really disperse it all over and then add that to whatever other uh, product you want to add to your bathtub. If you want to use a nice carrier oil with your essential oil, you do the same thing that we've been doing before. You can add a tablespoon or so of the carrier oil. There we go. And then a few drops, let's say five, six drops of your essential oil and okay, make sure that they're mixed together. So what you've done is, yeah, they're mixed together, but what you've done is you actually diluted, right, the essential oil. Then let's say that you want to, let's use Epsom salts because that's what a lot of people use. So you might want to use your Epsom salts to add to the bathtub and get the benefit from the Epsom salts. So you put however much Epsom salts you want to put into your tub you will put the diluted essential oil, which has been diluted in coconut oil, in your Epsom salts, mix it all up, and then put it under your running tap while you're filling the bathtub, and there you go. Now, they're not going to mix 100%, as you know. Why would they? Epsom salts is a salt, and salt and oil don't mix, but the layer that you do have on the top is diluted essential oils with the carrier oil. Emulsifying soap with the essential oil. You can put your Epsom salts in there. Give it a nice stir. Looks really nice actually, doesn't it? Look at that. Put that into your bath water. And there you go. The oil has been dispersed, your essential oil, it's safe. You, could get, you will get bubbles, obviously, from the soap, cleaning properties of the soap, and you also have your Epsom salts in there as well. There you go. So two ways. Enjoy your baths.